हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड वेलकम टू वेल्थ विजडम हब यू गो टू चैनल फॉर एक्सप्लोरिंग द मॉवल्स दैट सेप आवर वर्ल्ड एंड देर इफेक्ट ऑन आवर इकोनॉमीज एंड आवर डे टू डे लाइफ टूडे वी इम्बार्क ऑन एन एक्स्ट्रॉडिनरी जर्नी एज वी अनरेवल द डिटेल्स ऑफ द मुंबई ट्रांस हार्बर लिंक द अटल सेतु आई एम पवन योर होस्ट एंड लेट्स डाइव राइट इन टू इट Mumbai the city of dreams pulsates with a with a relentless energy but this mega city faces a critical challenge that is congestion million travelers the thane creek daily battling bottlenecks and lost time enter the mumbai trans harbor link monumental engineering marvel redefining connectivity and promising a brighter future but before we start i want you to see this video Now let's see where the bridge is located. now uh, we'll discuss everything about this bridge one by one first we'll see what is the objective of the bridge the primary objective of the bridge is to provide expeditious expeditious connectivity to mumbai international airport and navi mumbai international airport and reduce travel time from mumbai to pune goa and south india the main benefit will be for development of mumbai and navi mumbai it will decongest mumbai and make commuting easier for people also it aims to enhance the connectivity between mumbai port and jawaharlal nehru port jnpt about the setu the mumbai trans harbor link mthl or atal bihari vajpayee savri nava seva atal setu in short atal setu is the longest sea bridge in india it was inaugurated by prime minister narendra modi on 12th of january that is on friday The foundation stone for the bridge was laid by PM Modi in December 2016. Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority (MMRD) received a rupees 15,109 crore loan from the Japan International Cooperation Agency. Cost of the project is more than 17,840 crore. The bridge originates from Savri in Mumbai and ends at Navashiva in Uran Taluka in Raigad district. It is expected to boost economic development in Navi Mumbai and other nearby areas. Now it is uh, approximately 21.8 km long, featuring a six-lane bridge with around 16.5 km over the sea and about 5.5 km on land. Mumbai Police has announced that the maximum speed limit for four-wheelers on MTHL will be 100 km per hour. motorbikes auto rickshaws and tractors will not be allowed on the sea bridge car taxis light motor vehicles mini buses and two axle buses will have a speed limit of 100 km per hour however the speed will be restricted to 40 km per hour on the ascent and descent of the bridge so if you are commuting on the bridge be very careful about the speed limits and the areas 
Now there are some amazing facts about the Atal Setu. It is an engineering marvel, still equivalent to the weight of 500 Boeing aeroplanes and 17 times that of Eiffel Tower's weight was used for its construction. 1,77,903 metric tons of steel and 504,253 metric tons of cement were used in the construction. The bridge also reduces the distance between Mumbai and Pune Expressway. It will also provide connection to areas like the under construction Navi Mumbai International Airport. Uh, approximate 70,000 vehicles are expected to use the bridge every day. The construction of the bridge began in 2018. It is the 12th longest sea bridge in the world. Also, 85,000 uh, km worth uh, length of steel wires, which are equivalent to two trips around the equator, were used in construction of the bridge. Now, what is what is the traffic projections, average travel time, and benefits? In in short, what are the benefits? So, the MTHL is projected to use 39,300 vehicles daily between Severi and Sivajinagar. So this much, this many vehicles are expected to play between these two points, while 9,800 vehicles will run between the Sivajinagar and Charlie interchange. The bridge is designed to have a life of 100 years. One crore liter of fuel are projected to be saved per year by the use of the bridge, apart from the reduction of pollution level by about 25,680 metric tons less of CO2 emission. So it is very beneficial for the environment also. Now what are the unique and safety features for the users and the environment on the bridge? The MTHL will have a specially designed lightning poles to withstand high velocity winds during monsoons, equipped with a lightning protection system to safeguard against potential damage caused by lightning. Safety of travelers will be ensured by crash barriers that are built, tested and met international standards. Noise and view barriers are installed to protect flamingo protected areas and bark by the Bhabha Atomic Research Center. Setu passes through some of the very uh, economically sensitive zones and this was uh, the biggest challenge in the construction of the bridge because the environmental clearances and uh, clearance from different departments were very difficult since they were passing through the sensitive areas uh, like uh, this defense sensitive zones, uh, bark is there and the environmental sensitive zones. So this clearances was the biggest challenge in construction of the bridge. Now let's see the cost. The cost is expected to be, uh, it is uh, as per the chart, the chart is given in front of you. So the, it is go, going to be, uh, it is not going to be cheap for you and that is the biggest, uh, biggest uh, doubt people are raising about the project was is it going to be a white elephant in India's infrastructure kitty because uh, the cost is high and uh, very few people will be able to afford it but uh, my take is that slowly slowly the charges may be rationalized and as the uh, commuters on the bridge will increase because it is it is beneficial in fact you are saving saving a lot of time fuel so people will use it and as the user, user base will increase for the project, I think the, the cost should come down. So here you have it folks, the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link, the Atal Setu isn't just a bridge, it's a symbol of progress and connectivity. The Mumbai Trans Harbour Link is more than just a bridge, it is a symbol of India's aspirations. It's a tense testament to human in ingenuity and harbinger of a brighter future. As the first vehicle transver traverses its path, we witness not just the shortening of a distance, but the bridging of dreams. The Mumbai Trans Harbour Link is a beacon of hope, illuminating the path towards a more connected, prosperous and thriving tomorrow. If you enjoyed this journey with us, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I am Pawan, signing off from Wealth Wisdom Hub. Until next time, stay connected, stay wise and bye-bye.